Hi there, this is Ryan from the iPhoneNewsBlog.com and tonight I'm reviewing Chilingo's Defender Chronicles Legend of the Desert King. Defender Chronicles is your basic tower defense game with a, with one exception that you get to control, you get to upgrade your one hero character. Um, let's see, I have a quest coin so either I can uh, continue my quest, create a custom game, uh, look into my options, I'm gonna go there now. Uh, turn on the music or turn off the music voice sound uh, use my own music from my library can you see that just going a little closer okay and uh, I can reset my profile uh, I think there's a okay I don't want to do that um, going back I can continue my quest the custom game again uh, freestyle extended classic I'm playing classic right now and this classic extended Oh wait, I'm gonna go back. I didn't mean to do that. And uh, let's see some extras. Um, some tutorials. I've gone through these. Um, this is this is uh, the game walks you through how to play it. Um, you have a map, and you can place your tower units at these specific places. You can choose what type of tower units to build. And here's your gold. Uh, this is a fast forward button and. Um, this is how many lives you have left. Um, I think um, each level you start with a different amount. But anyway, uh, you can see your attack radius here. These are again the build spots you can choose to build a um, a def tower defense that is um, long range or hand to hand, bow and sword. Okay, so. Right, and then at the very top, next to your your um, your gate, is the hero which you can upgrade, and he'll be your last line of defense against whatever enemies um, have have made it through your defenses. Okay, so let's see extras again. Challenge I can challenge somebody over. I think you can challenge over. Okay, via email first and um, credits and viewing the website. Here's um, just to show you, let's get into the um, the interface and the gameplay. Um, on the left top, starting from the top left hand corner, we have the logbook, tells you how you've done, what kind of achievements you've made. Uh, let's see, it goes from the, the bottom being the most recent and um, you can see that I've won some games and lost one there. I'm gonna close this. There are uh, about 20 different types of defense levels with each with its own distinct ability and um, there is five different difficulty levels and five modes like I've gone over a little earlier and um, it also has um, open faint integration so you can challenge other people and um, let's see this is my hero again I mentioned earlier that this is your last line of defense if um, the enemies have gotten through the rest of your your defenses so uh, right now I have like this flail and I have this armor so um, my, I have 7 tokens left so you can use these tokens to buy weapons and, and so on my skills Okay. I have some skill points that I need to spend, uh, but I haven't spent any yet. So, um, in that sense, it's like a kind of like an RPG tower defense hybrid. And these are the areas which I've con conquered: uh, Great Sands, Cloud Pass, and here's the you, here's the level that I'm on right now. Here's where you can buy things for your hero. This is a trade shop. You can buy swords, uh, helmets, and so on. And uh, let's see the high scores. Okay, tells you which levels you passed and which ones you need to conquer. And uh, just to, I want to show you some of the gameplay. Let's see. Let's start off with a uh, cloud pass. Um, I haven't got to master and heroic, but um, I just want to show you casual. So it has this great um, spoken narrative, but I'm just going to continue passing.
gives you tips. Um, again, this is your 80, 80 points of gold. Uh, you can use to spend to build uh, long range archers or hand to hand combat combat uh, units. This is the uh, pause button to stop and show your options. This is to go faster if the game isn't fast enough for you and how many uh, enemy units have made it past your gate. Uh, you can also zoom in or zoom out you know, using multi-touch gestures. Um, okay, so I click to show you how, it, how it's played. You click at a build, build location and you click uh, it, whether you want hand-to-hand -hand or archering units. And I go here and build. Okay, I'm going here and build. Uh, let's see, this is my uh, hero at the very bottom, so I'm going to build up with some uh, other archer units. And you can see that it costs, uh, okay, I wasted some time explaining the game, but um, that's how it goes. Click here, and then it says it costs 20 points to build these units. And I can I have 22 gold now, so I can just say um, build, and there you go, I have two units. Um, if I want to upgrade the units, you just click on the unit and then you can see how much it costs. It costs uh, uh, 10 to upgrade to the next level and you get 15 points back if you want to demolish your unit. Upgrade. And I have 9 points left. You can see my, um, my gold increasing there. Um, I want to create a archer unit. I don't have enough gold yet. You can see that if you don't have enough gold to create the unit, your um, you're blocked. Your pad, your padlock. The um, icon is padlocked. And this is the uh, radius that I told you about, the attack radius. If um, if your units get defeated, they just go back into the uh, the building. And uh, to make it up to level three, level three is uh, where you probably want to be as far as upgrades because you start getting two units per building. Okay, there you go. It takes a little while to upgrade. He'll go back in and then two will come out. Okay, they're getting through already. See the hero is um, actually, like I said, the last line of defense. Uh, he does have a sword. However, um, the sword isn't good against flying enemies, so I really need to be beef up my archers. Okay, it's getting a little fast for me to, to do this while I show you how to play the game. But, um... You can see that uh, there's these flying units up here and um, these are all, like I said earlier, these are all the points where you can build um, defense units. Okay. Get our heart increase. Okay, I'm upgrading. Getting pretty, pretty busy down here. Let me put a um, hand-to-hand -hand unit here. Okay, so um, that's just an overview of how it's played. Uh, the game is fun. The fun comes especially when you can upgrade your hero unit. Other than that, it's it's your pretty standard uh, tower defense game. The only thing about, the only thing that I kind of didn't like about it is that the game dictates where you can put your uh, tower, def you, you know, your defenses. And um, I guess other tower defense games do quite the same thing, but this one, you know, um, kind of tells you exactly where, where you can put your 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 defensive buildings and so on. Okay, and uh, pretty soon they'll start releasing um, flying units, which I won't put to defend against. So I really need more archers. Okay, upgrade that. Yeah, and so that's basically how uh, Defender Chronicles is played. It's a good game, and like I said, um, I really like it because it features this hero character which is your last line of defense and you can upgrade him as much as you want him or her um, in later levels uh, there's more characters you can choose from and uh, right now uh, Defender Chronicles is on sale in the App Store for $3.99 it will be um, $3.99 until version 1.3 is released it's 
20% off, so check it out in the app store, watch for my written review. Uh, this is Ryan from iPhoneNewsBlog.com. Thanks for watching.